Do you want to go to college? Well, college is a sad place for some and a happy place for many. Some seek pleasure to cope with their worries, you know, smoking, drinking, and getting fucked. And I realized there isn't really much to do here besides sit around, fuck, party, and do homework. It's a repetitive cycle. And this made me realize one thing. College is a scam. This shit is just a finesse. This should be feeling like a Ponzi scheme, dog. Before I came here, like, niggas was making it seem like this place was a vibe. Like, this shit is not a vibe. Like, I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you. Like, this shit is not a vibe. You feel me? Um, the personnel here, you know what I'm saying? And I am talking about the honeys. Yeah, it's a little, it's a couple eights, it's a couple sevens, it's a couple seven and a halves, my nigga. I feel like all the teachers are just fake. The classes are made up. Like, my nigga, I'm in a class called intro to theater my nigga no disrespect but all my romeos and my juliets my shakespearean niggas who gives a f about theater my nigga my parents are paying rack aids for me to be in theater my nigga like what the f i'm trying to eat stick and potatoes for life i'm not trying to keep doing this shit bro i'm trying to turn the patty p to patty pape i'm trying to get this motherfucking guala nigga i gotta figure out a way i gotta figure out a way bro i'm gonna be a hunter with niggas like i'm dead ass here for my parents like i'm sorry i'm ranting right now but it's like most of my niggas is at the crib Mo most of my boys go to school you know back in the city and shit boston y'all niggas know you feel me like bruh i'm in school trying to be a nurse i understand and shit like that all that shit is cool but you're talking about somebody that told his mom i told my mom in the 10th grade that i wanted to be a gynecologist because i had seen a video of a, a gynecologist playing with kim kardashian's meow the nigga was digging up in the meow and i was like yo i could get paid rack aids niggas could get paid bankroll real deal fettuccine to dig up in some kim kardashian coochie why not why not you feel what i'm saying sounds like a gimme to me sounds like a gimme to me until you know senior year came around and i was like nah. i'm gonna just do the whole nursing thing not knowing the degree of studying niggas gotta do like bro testing quizzes all the fucking time bro like, what bro i can't even like bro i'm sorry i'm ranting to y'all but right i just now. like to keep it real like i'm just i just like to keep it real bro I told my mom I wanted to be a gynecologist because I, I, I wanted to be able to play with Gucci for a living. You feel what I'm saying? Now that I realize that you got to study for that shit, not doing this shit no more. You feel what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just blowing. I'm laying off some steam. You know, I've been working on my anger, my tolerance levels and shit like that. So I'm going to just rant to y'all. I remember in the 12th grade when my mom asked me what I wanted to major in. I told her nursing because I'm going to be a hundred. Mama love makes pay. You know? I'm saying mama love was driving in the GLEC class 350. You feel what I'm saying? And I seen that. So I'm like, damn. Well, yo, yo, yo. I need to come get me a chicken salad. <laughs> I gotta come get one of those. You feel what I'm saying? That's why I was like, you know, now I'm starting to grow just... up and realize like I'm zero, like I'm zero percent passionate about all of this shit, bro. Patty P does not want to be a fucking nurse. <laughs> like if I was to have that conversation with my I'm a love now and she asked me what i wanted to major in nigga i would tell her i want to major in fast cars nice clothes big booty hoes kicking it with my niggas eating maestros for breakfast lunch and dinner you feel what i'm saying cooling it thanking god for all our blessings that sounds like my ideal major but you know what's crazy these mother don't offer it here they don't offer it here so you mean to tell me my mother is paying rack aids for for a school that don't even offer the mother major that i want do y'all see what i'm saying like this shit just be heavy on my mental bro this shit be throwing off my stilo it be unbalancing my chakras on dogs on dogs nigga the more i gotta do nursing shit the more unpassionate i become about the mother subject like i'm a be a honey please do not get it up. I likes to help people. I loves 
to help people. You feel what I'm saying? My biggest goals in life is to be one of the biggest philanthropists in the world. I'm talking about curing blindness on some Mr. Beast type shit. Like I'm trying to, that's, that's one of my biggest dreams. I pray to God every day for the opportunity to be able to be in that position to where I could just help the unfortunate and individuals that are hungry and needy. And, but when it comes to like drawing blood, massaging niggas, picking up doodle, showering individuals and shit like that, my nigga, I'm not trying to sound like an ungrateful motherfucker, but I'm, I'm not here to like niggas is gonna tell me that I'm sauteing the salmon, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm just being real. I'm just expressing my mind. You feel me? Like I'm real passionate about this YouTube shit. I'm gonna be a hundred. I got a list of shit. I got a list of videos that I'm trying to do, my nigga. But I just need y'all boys to join the land. Ladies, I know you like what you see. You feel me? Don't, like, bro, I'm 6'1", with a black tee and a gold chain. The sex symbol stereotype. Like, comment, and subscribe. I know you like what you see. Fellas, it's time for niggas to start supporting the real niggas on the platform. You feel what I'm saying? Because I don't, quite frankly, I don't think, I don't think the shorties support anyways. The shorties like to support when it's most common to support. I'm just saying. Like, comment, subscribe, man. I'm almost at 400 subscribers, I guess. It's small, but you know, I thank God for everything. I thank God for every little piece of growth that I managed to get. You see, I'm coming down. You know, I already let out all my emotions. I already ranted. I already went crazy. I thank God for every single opportunity. You know, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers before the, before the summer begins. So I can shake the room. So I can really shake the room. Because when it comes to summertime, nigga, I'm finna be dropping bangers, dog. You feel me? I'm finna be going crazy on the GSD channel too. So y'all niggas need to go follow GSD. Y'all need to go subscribe to GSD. That That's my group channel. That I, that, I, that I make content with all my dogs. Join the land. The land only composes of individuals that are capable of accomplishing anything they want in life. Join the squad. You dig what I'm saying? Stop trying to, stop trying to mingle and dingle with all these other niggas that don't really care about you. Y'all niggas know the fucking feng shui. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know the fucking dealio. And quite frankly, y'all boys already know my slogan. Y'all already know my slogan. Y'all already know my slogan. Ladies and gentlemen, hold your hats. It's about to get juicy. Looks like the games are being played. How's it going down? You like my nigga. Hold on, let me get the chain out for this one. Gold on me too. Don't play with me. My ancestors were kings and queens. Just imagine three unicorn stallions, big voluptuous fat booty cheeks, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Just living the life, kicking it, bruh. It's like no, I'm just playing. 1K on the way though, and y'all know my slogan. You said you want a thug when I speak, no doubt. Get you ready to what? Just bust a nut, girl. You got a nigga falling in love. Uh, what type of games uh, are being played? How's it going down? You said you want a thug, what well, I mean, no doubt. Uh, Is you uh, winning or what? I ain't trying, just bust a nut, girl. You got a nigga falling in love. Yeah, what's politicking with this chicken when 